All right, I'm going to try and do this kind of quick and dirty like. So, <clears throat> so I created a new new action script uh, 3.0. My width is 640. My height is 480. I'm going to keep my stage as white. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And eh, too big. Fit in a window. There we go. <clears throat> I need to have a layer called my background. I need to have a layer called evaporation. I need to have a layer called transpiration. Double clicking to activate it. Transpiration. I'm going to make a layer call condensation that's the forming of clouds condensation I'm gonna make a layer called whoops called precipitation precipitation is that spelled right no, it doesn't look right and then we're gonna make a layer called surface water or runoff we're gonna call it runoff um, Okay, and I made an extra layer by accident, so I'm going to trash can that, delete it. So I'm going to come back here to my background, and then kind of quickly draw my background. Um, we're going to go with polygon. I'm going to go options. We're going to make triangles. Six polygon. Okay, polygon, triangles. Six. I need my triangles. They're going to be mountains. These are my mountains. So we're going to go with... Uh, Brown with a uh, there we go. All right, so I'm gonna make a couple. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nope, nope. Control Z. Did I did I not pick three? Oh, three sides. Three sides. There we go. All right, so I got my mountain. Okay, got a mountain. Whoa, not what I wanted. Select. There we go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a symbol. Modify, convert to symbol, even though I don't plan on animating, but this way I know I'm not going to mess it up. So we got a mountain, and we're going to control C, control V to paste, make another mountain, control V. So I got three mountains. Okay, and let's make another mountain, control V. Okay, I'm going to stick it right there. Okay, not the greatest mountains in the world, but you know what? It's a mountain. Okay, ain't no mountain high enough. All right, so then I'm going to do my pencil, try a little background, going to make it green. Um, we're going to come out here. I'm kind of thick. Uh, I'm just going to type it. I'm going to make it 15. Okay, so I'm going to come over here, still on the, making sure I'm on the background layer. Okay, so I'm going to come here. Got that. Okay, and then we're going to come down to there. Okay. Okay, so I got that. Now let's do a little beach. So I'm going to go beach sand. Kind of reminds me of a beach sand. Close enough. So we got a little beach sand. Uh, I need to have a little river. Okay, a little mountain river. Let's come down the mountain. Coming down the mountain. Uh, I need you to be on top. How do I get you on top? Nope. 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 So let's go here. Let's go right click. We're going to go. Where's the range? Range. We're going to say send back. Did not work. Let me get you out of the way. Get you out of the way. Nope. Not what I want. Click. And shift click. Now I've got you. We're going to modify my word symbol and call that river. Okay. Move my river over here. Whoa, that one's kind of messed up. That's all right. We're going to leave, leave that little pond. Move the mountain back. Move the mountain back. Move the mountain 
opener. Make this on top. There we go. A little bit better. There we go. I'm fine with that. Uh, where was I at? I'm going to grab this one. Move this down a little bit. Arrow down. Oh, it bothers me. And there we go. All right, a little bit better. Makes me happier. Um, I'm going to make another pencil. I'm going to make another. I'm going to change the color of this one. I'm going to make a little bit lighter blue. There we go. We're going to make a pond. And let's color the pond up. Yep. And make a little, make a little tributaries going down into the ocean. And let's make the ocean, make the ocean dark, darker blue. Put some waves. There we go. All right, so let's put some graphic elements in here to help break it up. Does that kind of look like grass? No. Close enough. Giant sand pebbles. Okay, I'm going to save file, save as, last name, first name, water cycle. Yes, save it on top of it. Okay, now, now I got my evaporation. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use a pencil tool again. And we're here. Aren't you letting me pick? Properties. There we go. All right. For my evaporation, I need a lighter blue. I'm going to draw a couple little dots. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to draw one. I'm going to draw one. And evaporation is very light, so I need a lighter blue than that. So we're going to go with that. I'm going to make my stroke just a little bit smaller. We're going to click here. We're going to make it five. Five. And then... Uh, just looking around. I got that. I'm going to draw a little... I don't like that. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, so I'm going to select that. Okay, I'm going to modify. I'm going to convert that. I'm going to call that evaporation. It's a movie clip. Okay, so I'm going to go here. And then I'm going to go... Because um, it's a library. It's in my library, so I can just come here and I can pull it out. Pull out another one. Pull out another one. I'm pull out another one. I'm pull out another one. I'm pull out another one. Okay, so I got a couple. Come back to my properties. Okay, so now I'm going to I'm gonna hold the shift key down to select all these. Okay, I'm gonna go to insert motion tween. Okay, Oop. okay, then I'm gonna come out here. And we're just going to come out here, click, there we go, and just kind of have them all kind of come up. And we'll do a little wobble, wiggle wobble. And it's not wobbling, wobbling like I like. I don't like how sometimes it just kind of like doesn't let me grab what I want to grab. In there. I want the S curve. OK. 
I have to play with it to get used to it. I'm taking it all the way off screen. Okay, so I'm going to take it all the way off screen. Actually, because we're going out. Going all the way out. 10 seconds. Right click, insert keyframe, all. Okay, there we go. Right, let's go back, we're gonna go back. We're doing control D, edit, undo, right to there. Okay. Now I'm gonna come all, all the way out to here. Right click, insert keyframe, all. Okay, so this is where I want to finish. So I need it to I need it to end here. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's come down here so that way I can see what the heck I'm doing on my background layer. I'm going to insert the keyframe for my background layer. I'm going to lock my background layer so I don't move anything by accident. Okay, so right now, that's what I got. Control Enter to test it. There's my evaporation. It's kind of like reverse rain. Okay, so it all kind of goes up. Okay. All right, I'm going to close that. I'm going to come back over here. Now I got my transpiration. Um, I didn't make any trees. So I got to unlock, come back to my background layer. And it's kind of late. We're going to come back here. We're just going to have transport. We're going to have transpiration because your grass will, your grass will uh, breathe as well as trees. So, but you know, draw some trees. You know, but this time we're going to make this one. I'll make this one a little bit smaller. Okay. And so, oh, so I've got control Z. There we go. So that's going to be my transpiration because it's a little bit smaller. So we're going to turn that into a symbol. Convert. Transpiration. It's in my library. I'm gonna pull it out of my library. Let's move this one back down here. Yeah, so I got a couple there. All right. So we're gonna select our I'll select our symbols. I held the shift key down while I was multi-selecting and we're going to go to make sure we're on the right level. Okay, I'm going to lock that in place. We're going to, we're on this level. Okay. We're going to go to insert when I say motion tween, it's double check in. We're going to go ahead and go all the way out here. We're going to insert keyframe all. Okay. I want to finish. We're going to click on this to make sure this is where we're at. And then we're going to left click. Nope. We're going to left click. Nope. We're going to move that up. There we go. All the way up the screen. Okay. We're going to control enter to test. Okay. There's my, my evaporation and my transpiration. Okay. Now I can put more in there, but that's good for what I'm working on right now. Let's come back down over here. Go back. Okay. So I'm going to lock that. So now we're here on this frame. Condensation. So now I need a cloud. Go back to properties. Uh, I'm going to go back to my pencil tool. Um, we're going to change my cloud to, um, I'm going to start with the gray. Okay. And then we're, I guess we'll make it there. We're going to, so I kind of look like a cloud. Okay, and then we're going to select that and select all the cloud. I'm going to modify that into the symbol. I'm going to call it condensation, condensation, you know, cloud. And then it's here starting. That's where I drew it, but I want it to start over here. Okay, so then I'm going to come over here. I've got my cloud selected. I'm going to insert a motion tween. We're going to come down here. Left click, right click, insert keyframe all. Uh, my final position for my cloud is over. It's going to be off the screen, but I need it to be big. So we're going to go to modify 
transform. I'm going to do free transform. And I need it to be big. Okay, it's already big. Get off. Get off the screen. There we go. And then we're going to come all the way back down here to the beginning. I need it to be small. So I'm going to left click in this frame and I need you to be small little cloud. Okay. And I need you to start over a little bit more. Nope. Well, that's where the frame animation is going to start, but I need my little buddy. Little buddy, get over. There we go. Let's test it. Control enter. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And there it goes. Okay. And so, um, kind of goes a little fast. So, to slow it down. To slow it down, I could actually come in here and I could actually set milestones. So, we're going to insert a keyframe here. And so, we're going to. No, that's not what I want to do. I don't want to do with that. We're going to start, we're going to change the position. Still kind of goes fast. Going to come down here. There we go, make it a little bit higher. I guess we can start off the screen as well. We could also have more clouds. Library over here. Well, this is okay. Let's go back here. Just want to make sure my cloud's getting bigger. Where's my cloud? Why don't I see my cloud no more? I did some that change something. So we're going to do a control Z to undo. So you can see what I've done. Okay, I'm going to leave that. Okay, don't want to mess it up anymore. Precipitation. Precipitation is rain. So now I need to come over here. Um, now we're going to take this frame. We're going to insert. Okay, I need to see where my cloud's at. So it's going to start raining when my when my cloud gets here. Actually, we're going to start raining when my cloud gets here. Okay, so I'm going to insert a keyframe here. Okay, so it's all blank there, but here is where we're going to start raining. So all of this here is a blank, it's blank frames on my precipitation layer. And I'm getting here, and now I'm going to start to add my rain. Okay, and we got to come back to properties. I need my rain to be blue. We're going to have blue rain. Okay, I'm going to draw a little blue. Okay, I'm fine with that small rain. We got small rain. I'm going to select it. Going to modify it, convert it to a symbol. Going to call it precipitation. Another fancy word for rain. Okay, going to position that under my cloud. Going to drag out another precipitation. Going to drag out another precipitation. Going to drag out another precipitation. Now this one's going to be a little bit more complicated. And so, and then, and then I'm making a movie. And then I'm going to select my rain. So I've got my rain selected, and I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and keyframe animate it. So insert keyframe. We're going to arrow down some. Right click, insert keyframe, down some. 
F6 is a shortcut for a key is to enter a keyframe. F6 down. F6. You notice my cloud has moved, so I need to pull out another um, rain. Move it down. Um, did, I move, did I move these over? Move those and F6. And then move these down, drag out another precipitation. And select all those. And then F6, down arrow, drag out another precipitation. And then select all of those. And then, nope, nope. All right to there. And then F6. And drag it down. And I got about one minute till the bell rings. Let's check this out. Where are we at so far? Oh, yeah, that's great. Okay, so I'm going to save. Oh, oh got to close this. Focuses on that file. Save. And I'm going to go ahead and export this as a work in progress. And I'm going to stop my little video for now. All right. So you guys just keep working. Okay.